today we are going to begin cutting your linoleum blocks in order to make a radial design. So you're going to, so this is a finished product and we may do something slightly different, but this is one that was done by a student in the past. So once you have your sketches figured out and you've come up with some of your good ideas, then you're going to pick your favorite. You're going to be getting a square piece of linoleum um, and it, it kind of feels like an eraser, okay? Um, then you're gonna make sure that you put your name on it, okay? On the edge, your name and your class period because I'm going to store them like this while we're working on them um, so that they are nice and organized and don't get lost, all right? Then you're going to pick your design and I'll show you kind of what doesn't work and what does work. So on your designs, and I've tried to catch them in class, but if you have something like this, this is not going to make a very good radial um, mandala. So if you, it's better if you have something more like this. So these black parts, they are raised, okay? So they're a little bit raised, and this is a little bit of texture that the student decided to leave. So it will print enough of that if you do not remove enough of it okay so that one's pretty good this one um they i can't remember if they wanted the edge or not but it did print so anything that's black was is raised and it did the printing and then here's another example now this student did not do a very good job of starting and stopping at the same place so by the time that it was uh, put together it didn't quite line up so there's just a few examples from students in the past and so a couple of things that you're going to get out okay you're going to be using this shelf paper so everybody's going to get one of these and this keeps the linoleum from sliding around as much on the table and then you will be an assigned a linoleum cutter. So they'll have a number on it. You only get to check out one blade at a time, okay? And so the blades do different jobs. Uh, and you'll tell me what number that you wanna start with. Often you wanna start with the number one, or if you have to remove a lot of space up front, um, you go to a number five. It is easier to slowly move up the, the number scale and remove um, as you go, especially if this is the first time you've ever done this. So most often you're gonna start with a number one. So you'll tell me, Miss Ward, I want a number one. And then they come in these little boxes. So if you decide that you really love this, prod this process, you can go to Hobby Lobby and get one of these sets and it comes with these blades. So the blades are numbered, I'll try to show that. They have a number on them, okay? And then the way that you put them in the tool is you're going to lefty loosey, so turn it while holding this part. And then you'll see if you turn it too much, the mechanism inside is going to all fall out and we don't want lost parts. So don't overdo it. It just needs to be a little loose in there. So I'm gonna try to get the camera to focus. So right where that ball is, and then you have the kind of the eyeball shape, you're going to put your blade, okay, pointing side up. So make sure that you are putting your thumb and index finger right here and not like this, because if it slips, it's gonna jab you in the hand. So just kind of wiggle that down in there. This one's a little, there we go. Then you're going to grab this and then twist to the right while holding the blade in place. You should not do this. Okay, hold that in place. And then it is in there, ready to go. All right, so this is a number one. 
And so if I was beginning my design, I would just kind of, what I tell students is always keep the blade away from anybody else, not towards you. Okay, always cut away from you um, and make sure that your hand's not in the way. So I like to practice hand on the handle and your index finger to help kind of guide it. So it's kind of like mowing a lawn and strips. And so you just kind of go along the top of the surface and remove, and it's not going very deep right now. Okay because it's just a number one. So this would be like where your lines are in your design, you would want to remove those, okay? And when you're done with that blade where you need to use it and you need to check it out or check it back in, you're going to hold it and turn it to the left, turn the barrel to the left, remove this piece uh, and it's stuck. So an easy way to fix that is to use a ballpoint pen, preferably one that's not broken. Okay. And you're gonna carefully just kind of press this mechanism down and then loosen it. So sometimes it needs a little bit of help. So that's how you get it unstuck. So I'm glad that happened. So that way I can show you that too. All right, and then you'll check that back in, hand it to me and grab whatever else you need. So I'm gonna show you the difference between a one and a three. So I have the three blade and it has the three on there. And this part goes in the inside. You want the blade out front. It's already loose. So I'm just going to stick that right in there. Hold this metal part, twist the handle until it doesn't tighten anymore. You don't want it loose. And then, so here's a number three. And number three is more of a, a U shape. And so, like a, not quite an angled V, like a two, it's a little bit wider. And so you want to press it in and go across. You wanna always go, like kind of get it started and then go across. And you just have all these little shavings that come off, which is so satisfying to me. Okay, and then you would do the removal process. So. Um, a number six um, is a leaf shape, and so it's for really, really fine details. And then if you really want to remove a whole lot, you're going to want to use a number five. So like on this example, this is a more of a number five 